everybody, Erica Sirwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs, and I have got one more racing by project. It is a slider box, and I, you know, really couldn't think of something to use for a 3D project. I always try to find treats that match, and I was at Walmart, and I found these Rhesus medals. So it's perfect for this, um, there's, you know, like a trophy and a ribbon and a way to go. So I thought a Reese's medal would be perfect. So I'm going to show you how to make a slider box for that and how to make this cute little uh, collage of images right here. All right. We're going to start with the box. Give it some time to dry. You're gonna need two different pieces of pumpkin pie. All right, the first piece is six by eight and a fourth, and we're gonna score it at one and two on all four sides. So just keep turning your paper and score it at one and two. Now the second piece that you need is seven and three eighths by four and three eighths, and you're gonna score it at one and an eighth, three and an eighth, four and a fourth, and six and a fourth. All right, now we're gonna set that one aside and we'll make this one first. Grab your bone folder and burnish all your lines. This is gonna be the little tray that's on the inside of the box that slides out, like the drawer. I always call it the drawer. Um, and we're gonna make it double walled so that it's a little bit thicker and sturdier for when it gets tugged on. Okay, so now we need to cut out the three squares from all, all four corners. Um, I'm gonna use my scissors and I'm gonna cut these two off like that and then cut this one off. And then the other thing we need to do here is to cut in from the short side, okay, this is the short side, and then just cut those corners like that. All right, so you can actually do all of this at the same time. We'll cut in here like that. And then we're gonna cut here. We wanna cut these completely off. Cut this one completely off. And then snip, snip. All right, so that's what it looks like so far. We're gonna do the same thing over here on this side. Cut all the way in and then cut off those two. Cut off that third one and then corners. Okay, cut in. And cut this one off and then snip and snip. All right, so that's what your piece looks like right now. And we're gonna cut off a few more corners just to make it a little bit easier to assemble. We're just cut off the corners of all these tabs. And I'm just gonna do a slight corner, not a real big corner. This is gonna help your box go together really well. Okay. And last, we'll take this one right here. All right, and that's what your box looks like. If you need to pause the video to look at it, to use it as your guide, now would be the time to do that. Okay, now I'm gonna take, first I'm gonna take stamp and seal, and I'm gonna put stamp and seal on these corners just to hold them in place. I'm gonna use a stronger adhesive with the rest of it. All right, now fold those up into the sides like that, making sure that it's square right here. And fold these up like that. All right, so now get your stronger adhesive. You can use tear and tape or um, seal plus or liquid glue like I like to use. Put um, that on the inside of these flaps and then fold them over. This is gonna give us nice rounded edges on our sides. And it's like I mentioned, making our sides 
thicker double walled. All right, let's see. I think I'll put another one down here. I like to use little clothespins to hold my things in place while they dry. All right, now this one is really easy. We're just gonna make a tunnel. So burnish those lines like that. And then we're just gonna put some adhesive like that. And fold that over, and now you've got your tunnel like that. It looks like mine's a little bit off, so I'm gonna make sure that I get those edges right. There we go. All right, so there's your tunnel. Okay, now for our stamping, we're actually going to do the background first. I am using the sketched plaid background stamp, and we're gonna stamp it on basic gray with basic gray ink, and then we're gonna cut it down to the size that we need. Now, of course, with a background stamp, I like to do a bigger section than I need. I think it's easier with these large stamps. So just stamp your stamp, and then we'll, we'll grab this, and we're gonna cut it down to two by, let me look at my notes to make sure I'm telling you the right thing, two, no, no, we need to do one and seven eighths by four and an eighth. One and seven eighths by four and an eighth. Let me get my trimmer. All right, let's cut this end off like that. And then we're gonna do two and an eighth. And then we'll cut one of these ends off and four Nope, that was wrong, right? One and seven eighths is what we need. One and seven eighths. I'll have this on the PDF that's over my blog. It's a free PDF for you, so you'll have those. One and seven eighths by two and an eighth. Okay, so we've got that done. Now how about that cute race car? The first thing we're gonna do is stamp the outline in memento black. Okay, and then we're gonna stamp the inside in blueberry bushel. Now, I go back and forth whether I want to stamp the inside first or the outline first. So you can play around with it and see which way you like to do it. Um, I, I can't decide on this one which one is the easier way to go with lining them up. All right, here is the, the little tires. And then we need to stamp the trophy and the ribbon. All right, now we don't have necessarily a gold marker, but we have wild wheat. And believe it or not, wild wheat looks like gold when it's colored. And then we're gonna add a little bit of Wink of Stella on top of that, and it's just really gonna look gold. So if you have wild wheat, this is definitely one you can use. All right, so I went over it with my light. Now I'm gonna take my dark, and I'm just gonna kinda add a shadow here along the left side. Okay, and then you can take your light and kind of pull that color over like that. Okay, now for the little ribbon, and you're gonna need your glasses for this. I didn't bring mine over here, which I should have done. I need to get a pair of glasses that just stay here when I record videos, because I always forget. All right, color that, and then color the ribbon. There we go. All right, now, oh yeah, we gotta do Wink of Stella. Now, these this stamp set does not have dies. So that means we are going to have to use our scissors. And I like to cut off all the extra cardstock before I start cutting. That's gonna make it a lot easier as I go around. Now get your paper snips. You want your smaller scissors, okay? And paper snips are perfect for this. Just go right along the outside, leaving a little bit of a white border. all the way around 
stay in the middle of your um, blades and use your opposite hand to turn the paper. All right, now the little ones are a little bit trickier. Just go slow. And I'm just gonna do like a circle around that ribbon. Remember, the person who is receiving your gift is not going to be judging how good of a job you did on your cutting. They're going to be excited that they got a treat and they're gonna be more focused on what's inside the box. And they're gonna think, wow, she made this for me. So don't, don't be too worried about it being perfect. Handmade is never perfect. All right, there we go. Now I'm gonna attach those with dimensionals, which I seem to have lost. My dimensionals are right here. Here they are. All right, let's put this one, the trophy on first, like kind of like that. And then I think this big dimensional will fit. Maybe a smaller dimensional would be better for this one. And we'll put that one right there. All right. Now we have two pieces of designer series paper. This is nature's sweetness. And I'm going to flag both ends. If you have a flag punch, you can do that. But I am just using my scissors by cutting down the middle like that. And then going from the corners to the top of that line. This one is um, pumpkin pie, or maybe it's, no, it's, um, it's our new peach pie from our in color stack. All right, now let's do the sentiment. All right, I have a stylus shaped banner and I'm gonna stamp way to go in pumpkin pie. And I'm gonna do it on the bottom so that I have room to put my car, okay? Grab your dimensionals and we'll put that car. I'm gonna put the dimensionals on the tires like that. All right, and then, you know, let's put the box together and then we'll put the rest of it on there. All right, I've given this plenty of time to dry and we're gonna put our metal treat in there. And then I'm gonna get my vanilla and black check ribbon and I'm gonna tie it around the box like this. Okay, and then we'll trim that like that and then slide that right inside the box. Okay, now, Whoa, whoa, let's put that on there. And then we're gonna put these, let's do dimensionals. We're not trying to squeeze this into an envelope so we can put lots of dimensionals on here. Okay, we've got one going that way. And one going that way. And then we'll add this. And we are done. This would make such a fun treat um, for a birthday party, maybe for a soccer team, uh, maybe just for fun. You know, lots of reasons to use this. I just think it's bright and cheery and fun. And who doesn't love Reese's Peanut Butter Cups? <laughs> All right, make sure you click the link here on YouTube. Go back to my blog, grab that free PDF. Let me know if you have questions and happy stamping. Bye, everybody.